on Love and Hip Hop, we kind of saw your relationship with Safari Samuels. Um, mm. You've said before you guys were testing out the waters and then you kind of alluded on social media that the relationship was just for TV. So where do you guys stand? We saw you have an explosive fight on the show. What's going on now? Wow, well, was definitely not expecting that question. Um, but I will say, you know, unfortunately, to a certain extent, when you are a public in the public eye and you're a public figure, um, I have always been very wise and you know on how I portray my personal life. And you don't want to be looked as a fool. You don't want to be humiliated publicly. You don't want to, you know, all those things. I think that in that moment, because of a lot of other personal things that I was going through, which you will see on the second season of Love and Hip Hop Miami, and I will be completely open and honest about what really happened. I just kind of felt like, you know what? You're embarrassing me. You know, you're out here acting all single and talking to other women and doing all types of things, making me look como una estupida. So I'm like, oh, you know what? Never mind. Um, I had nothing to do with him. And if you want to act single, pues, so am I, you know? Um, I think it was more from that space. It was just feeling embarrassed, humiliated. Um, there were a lot of other things happening also in his past personal life with, you know, things that occurred, you know, and some way, somehow people were trying to drag me into a situation that had nothing to do with me either. So it was just, I guess it was just me trying to protect myself from all the negativity that was happening in that moment. What else can you tease about this second half of the season? And how do you feel about everything we've seen so far? Ay, mami, mira, I don't know what to do. Ay, Dios mío. Mira, um, okay, I'll tease this much. So a lot of people did get to see at one point um, that I had conflicts with the father of my children. Uh, I've been very respectful on the way that I treat that matter, even though that at one point I actually feel very terrible that I didn't know how to control my anger and my anger, my disappointment, my hurt as a woman, as a mother. And I went on a live and I, and I exposed and said a lot of things that I probably shouldn't have. Um, and then this season, you know, you'll, you'll see me have that confrontation, that one-on-one -on -one conversation with him, which is also part of the reasons why I denied my relationship with Safari. There's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of backstory to why things happen. And I think that also because as an artist, as a celebrity, as an influencer, as whatever, we only showcase what we want people to see of us. They really don't know what's happening behind closed doors. So that was part of it. And touching on that and being a new mom, mm -hmm. what's it been like juggling your career, having these little babies, you know, trying to film and do all that and date? On top of well, it. part of being a new mom is this hair. I haven't had time, <laughs> mommy, for nothing for myself. And I love my daughters to the end of me. Um, I dedicate so much time to my girls. Um, it's been such a blessing. I've always been a very hardworking woman, como buena Latina. I think it's in our in my Latina DNA. Um, especially coming from an immigrant parent, where they're here to follow the American dream. And it's like, I work on this, I, yo limpio casas, I do this, I do that, like, I do anything. And I've kind of, you know, gotten that in my system too. So I work so much, but my girls made me even more ambitious. They made me even more like, let's, let's go get it. Cause I know that they depend on me. Um, and me siento bendecida. I honestly feel so blessed. And that's also a reason why I feel that I also wanted to come into Chispa cause I don't know if the fairy tale exists, but I would love to find someone that can really love me, that can love my girls. And that's something else that happens. Like me, there's a lot of other women on Chispa that now, you know, we're mothers and you can't just date anyone. You can't just bring yeah. anybody home. You really have to get to know them, especially I have two little girls. Like, mm -hmm. so it's like, I, I want them to eventually, I know a lot of great stepfathers. You know, maybe eventually God will bless me with a good man that my girls can see as a father figure. So I'm still trying to figure it out. But my girls have really motivated me to become the best version of me, honestly.